we love her and we miss her so much. And she would always go out and be on her duties for her kids yeah. and her grandchildren. And money didn't mean anything to her, so she always um, look at the kids, um, buy whatever they want, they spoil the kids. Um, but what I love about her is her her devotion to our Blessed Mother Mary, um, the being the our dear Lord God Holy Kong, Mother Mary, our dear Atasave. Um, she would go to church every day, 3 o'clock in the morning, to the Blessed Sacrament. And, um, you know, my mom was wonderful. She was my sidekick. We traveled the world together. Um, I knew she didn't have nothing when she was young. So I wanted to give back to my mom what my mom has not experienced. So I really went out and beyond my duties for her so she can experience the world too as well. So uh, what I love about my mom and what we will all will miss our mom that, um, that, that she loves every, each and every one with the six kids and I don't know how many grandchildren. So and she always encouraged us to love one another and love one another, um, right, girls and boys, and always pray every day, every day, every, there's not a day. It's been one year since we've been praying the rosary with the family, or oh, two years, ever since they were little kids. But thank you very much, and I'm so thankful and grateful that my brothers and sisters are here um, from out of the state. And so, um, and Father Matthew, we love you and we thank you so much for what you have done for my dad and my mom. And you know, <laughs> you're just like a brother. <laughs> Sorry. And then Father Ramon, thank you for introducing us to Father Matthew. <laughs> you know, he's, he's our loving brother, even though not biological, but he's a loving brother. Um, even, if he did, even if he didn't have nothing, but yet we had everything because they always taught us about our dear Lord God and our dear Blessed Mother Mary. And even when it was tough, we have to be um, encourage us to give more faith to our dear Lord God and our Blessed Mother Mary to keep us going on. And that's it, Jane and Jessica. <laughs> but, um, and then my aunties and my uncles that are here, thank you for coming too. And thank you everyone for attending mm -hmm. here. Thank you, Jack, via Edna to Rose. And Uncle Alex, like we have like everyone here, and Kuya, um, all the Kuyas, Kuyo and my sister Jessica and Luis. And thank you for cooking, and Auntie Lena and Myron. Thank you all. Thank you much, so much. Okay, sorry I cried, but it was from the heart, uh, and for my, for my aunties and uncles who couldn't be here online. Thank you so much. Thank you for always being there with us. My Auntie Agnes. And the, and those who are not here, but and thank you for my relatives. And then my mom's sister, uh, my Auntie Beth and my Auntie Agnes, and Trish, thank you for attending Auntie Agnes, Auntie Beth, and Brian, um, of course. Auntie Agnes, you want to say something? No, you're shy. Oh, and Gail, Gail, my mom's friend, Gail, from Boston. That's just, and Kuyo Rudy and Auntie Nati, and Brian. But thank you so much for everything. Gail, do you want to say something? Anika, do you want to say something? Hello? Gail? Okay. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, you all are here. Can you say something? Um, I want to say that Cecilia was so dear to me. She made me laugh. She made me cry. <laughs> And she was always so faithful to calling and checking on me every day to make sure I was okay. And she has a beautiful family. Thank you so much for letting me share in this memory of her tonight. She loved you all very dearly. And she loved her grandchildren. And she spoke so much about the family that I feel like I know you all. But thank you so much for letting me attend this uh, memorial to her. It really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I would like to add one thing. Jean, yes. come here. <laughs> Jean, come here. Okay, now tell your dream about um, Dad, Uncle Jimbo, Auntie Josephine. Remember? Oh, I remember. Uh, uh, go ahead. 
Yes, the Lord be with you. 